What's up guys, or the Sleep Token fans, at least I hope that you're watching it because uh, yeah, the title of this video is going to be something like if Sleep Token had a female vocalist and you know, it's not clickbait. I try not to use clickbait. Okay, I stand by all my titles. I just try to make them a little bit more clickable. But the point of this video is, um, you know, this was taken from my live stream. So I'm just filming an intro right now. Uh, this is towards the tail end of my live stream. So my energy is a little bit low. Um, I wish my reaction was a little bit more impactful because after hearing this song, I enjoyed it. But then, you know, I find myself constantly listening to it. I probably went through this track like 10 times. I can't get over it. It's becoming one of my favorite songs of the year. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as me. Um, the YouTube video when watching it only had less than 100 views. So if a label is watching this and they really enjoyed this group too, sign them up because yeah, this band has a lot of potential. They're called Breakaway and the song is called I'll See You When The Night Comes. So look, that's all we need for chit chat, right? So again, Breakaway. I'll see you when the night comes. Is this a gesture of love? Ooh, nice voice already. Or just a blade in your so, Jen, if you're looking at the sheet, Jen's is not here. It's an old request. Until the end of it all. I'm gonna retitle this actually. Old. So that way she stops showing up in the um, queue. Would you push me away again? Or would you pull me back in again? Oh, I did. Just Mundo! Dude, this only has 76 views. Keep coming back to you. These vocals are way too nice to be this low in views. Speaking of sleep token a bunch, maybe this is like sleep token where it gets like poppy, really nice vocals and atmospheric before we get this ball drop. <laughs> I can't get over that, man. <laughs> have a new band to recommend people when they ask for bands that are, sound similar to sleep token because yeah this is uh after that drop it's kind of uncanny 
focus on piano and these very poppy vocals, right? But the vocals are go gorgeous. Beautiful voice. Her control, her range, the emotion. And then the drop. They only have one song out. Look, this is a really nice song, man. It's really, really nice. Like, production is really good on this, too. Like, but even the drum tone, like, when we were the, it happened to drop. It's funny to see some leaders in rock and metal, right? Like, Sleep Token has one of the most unique sounds in the scene. It's not for everyone. Not everyone's fans of them. But there's no denying their originality. And now there's Stone Side that really is honing in on their sound, too. This band, too, right? And then I, I feel like there's a couple other bands that are kind of doing their style a little bit. Um, but then there's also, like, Loathe, right? Loathe is doing the shoegaze uh, metal thing, taking a lot of ideas from Deftones, but bringing it to a metalcore audience and sound. And now so many bands are doing it, too. Anyway, not to go off on a tangent, but this was still really good. This is really good just because the vocals were fucking great. They were so good. She has a nice pop hook sensibility. Like it legit can sound like a pop song if the background instrumentals were a little bit different because this was a little dark and moody for mainstream pop. But imagine if this was a little bit more colorful and vibrant. Her vocals would, couldn't fit. This is a 8.4, man. This is really, really solid stuff. Nope, 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 nope. This is a nine now. I can't stop listening to this song, man. Um, I think I just wish there was a little bit more originality, but it was still a badass track. Anyway, let's move on to Daz Mando's song.